delightful audience you are. We have been coming to Atlanta since 1991. No, not as career musicians as you might know us now, but just as weird kids who had family here in Atlanta. So we came And this place seemed crazy. <laughs> it was so hot here. I don't think you understand. Like I know Canadians always talk about the weather, but like the hottest it ever gets where we grew up is like maybe 80. <laughs> yeah. Take that in for a second. We came here, and I, even though I was like only 11 years old, I was like, it's very, very hot here. <laughs> we came for a summer. Visit. We went to uh, we hung out in Atlanta, and then we went to Florida with all our cousins, and we went to Disney World, <laughs> and it was really fucking hot there too. And we also went and saw the spaceship shuttle thing. Most of most of the, most of my relatives, including a lot of my cousins, slept through it. I think I was one of the only ones that went and walked around that damn thing. But anyways, we used to come back. Uh, and see our family, and it was always sort of a, a satellite home for us when we started touring. And I've always sort of had a special affection. Are you guys okay? Okay. I heard screaming, and I was like, this is it. I don't know. Something about happening. Okay. Uh, this has always been a bit of a satellite home for us, and I just want to specifically address the next song. I normally don't say anything about this song because I like people to interpret it however they might. But tonight is a very special night. All of our family are here and it is the Eve. It's actually the Eve of our baby cousin. She's getting married tomorrow. She's getting married to a wonderful guy. We couldn't be happier for them. But none of that changes that I personally do not believe in the institution of marriage. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean that I don't think people should get married, or that she won't get drunk and dance at the wedding and an absurd dance. Nothing makes me happier than drinking a bottle of wine and dancing my ass off at a wedding. about this most recent election is that when you give rights to people and then threaten to take them away, that fucking bothers me. It bothers me. It bothers me when anybody doesn't have access to the things that they need, even if it's just kindness and respect and fairness. And one thing I will say is that even though I didn't give a flying shit about marriage, I worked my ass off to advocate and stand with people who were working to make sure that everybody had the right to get married or divorced or whatever. And so I just want to say that uh, in, the, in the days following one of the most traumatic days of my life a few days ago, I want you to know that I don't just feel that way about marriage or or people who are gay, or who, I just feel mad that anybody doesn't get what they need, or what they desire, or what they want, or what they need to survive. I just want you to know that we're thinking about all of you guys all the time. If you if you are feeling uh, scared, or you're feeling upset, or you just need to hear somebody with a microphone yell at you in a positive way, I'm here to tell you that Tegan and I are fucking fired up. And we are ready. as a political act is get married. But I wanted to just end this little speech by saying that I couldn't be happier for my cousin and for anybody 